Miter set allows me to reference off the front. You can do this along with me. 360 divided by 14. Come on, mental arithmetic, you can do it. Jack has made me an affiliate. So if you click on that link, you're actually helping this channel as well as getting yourself a really nice bit of kit for your shop. Dave here, how are you? A couple of months ago, now it's beginning of October 2016 at the moment, but a couple of months ago, I received an email from a gentleman in the US by the name of Jack Perry. Now Jack is a bit of an inventor apparently and he sent me an email and said, Dave, I love your channel. I'd like you to have a look at something that I've invented here and it's a thing called Mitre Set. He said, now if you like it, do a video, throw it on your channel. If you don't like it, send it back to me. So I've had a play around with these for a couple of months and I do like them a lot. Now what do they do? They're just a lump of aluminium. This is how it's going to work for you. These are going to help you to achieve the most accurate cut as far as angles are concerned with your table saw, your router table, your chop saw or compound mitre saw, whatever you want to call it, even an ordinary hand uh, held circular saw. Getting that angle is all important and this thing here will help you do it. So let me take you through how it works. Mitre set is a CNC'd block of aluminium. Now this particular one will let me get an accurate angle down to half a degree. Now you might turn around and say to me, well Dave, I've got an INCRA HD and I can get down to a tenth of a degree. Correct. I also have an INCRA mitre gauge here and it's very accurate. But it works off a protractor at the back of the unit, not a reference point off the front of the unit. Now I always use, I'm just getting away from the subject a little bit here, I always use a sacrificial fence on the front of my mitre gauge. Now I don't know if that's got a slight taper or not, I could be out a degree between here and here. I also have a T-track on the back that I mount my sacrificial fence to my mitre gauge with because I like to be able to slide it back down to get a zero clearance on my sacrificial piece so I don't get any tear out on the back of the timber that I'm cutting. So you can see where I'm going with this. Mitre set allows me to reference off the front, not use the protractor at the back. So how do we set it up? Now this has got all of these different degrees up either side and it comes with two pins. Now if I want to set an angle up, I'm going to turn it around this way a little bit. Say I want to set up this angle here and I want to go, I'm going to put one pin in the zero and say I want 15 degrees. I would put the other pin in there. I would put that down there like so and get my mitre gauge out, release the clamp on it, take it up to the front and I'm referenced, lock it. That's 15 degrees my friend, no doubt in the world. And I can cut 15 degrees on my table saw. Next thing, how do I get individual degrees? Well that's pretty easy. Mitre set comes with this little aluminium bar that's been machined as well. So I can set it to take me reverse from 15 degrees or forwards towards 20 degrees. So it'll take me to back to 12 and a half degrees or forwards to 17 and a half. Now let's do 17 and a half degrees. How I do that is I pop it over here and I slide it up to that point there. Now you'll see, and I'll take a picture of this, but there is some steps that are machined into this aluminium bar. That's uh, 1.5, 2, 2.5, and on this side it's 1 and 0.5. And it all makes sense. You know, it takes you a little while to get the hang of it, but it's very easy once you get started. So let's set it up for 17 and a half degrees. Put the gauge on first and you can see straight away I'm going to release the mitre gauge now the clamp on it bring it forwards and see how it just slipped in now I am fully referenced to 17 and a half degrees that wasn't hard was it? <laughs> it doesn't take long at all to get the hang of it so there we go that's one of them that's mitre set standard. Now Jack also sent me his other one and this is the one I was more interested in. 
and its miter set segments. Now miter set segments doesn't use any of this stuff. It's another block totally. And <laughs> I love it. This one lets me do any regular polygon that I want to. So he's given me four sides all the way up to 20 sides. We've missed one. It's the 19 side regular uh, polygon. And I don't think I'm going to lose too much sleep over that. I'm going to put the specs on for this one because this is really, really nice. Okay, same thing. Same thing, we have these two little reference pins. And let's say I want to do, I'm going to spin it around because it's a whole lot easier to do it from this side. Say I want to do a seven-sided figure. I'm going to put a pin there and I'm going to put a pin in the seven. Now, <laughs> I can put my miter gauge in there, bring it up to it, release this, slide it up to the reference, and you can see I'm right on the pins. <sighs> Seven sides. Now you might say, well Dave, good on you. What's so special about seven sides? Well, the angle. You try and get that angle with any other mitre gauge. Now I'm going to show you what I mean. I've got a little calculator here. Now seven sides means I have to divide a 360 degree circle by 14. Remember, seven sides, I'm going to have two sides of each of those angles. So there's 14 cuts to create this. Now each one of those, let me see, 360, you can do this along with me, 360 divided by 14. Come on, mental arithmetic, you can do it. So it's 25.71428. Repeater. I can try and work that out and try and set the, the uh, miter gauge for that, or I can just pop that in there, or if I don't want to do it on that side of the saw, I can slip it over to there and put it in the other side. And I've got <laughs> the other side. This is brilliant. This is really, really nice. Now I tried it out. I got a piece of pine and I ran it always over the saw here popped it down on the table there and mucked around, pushed it all up together, put a strap clamp around it, and I can show you the picture, the video of it, you know, as it is. And then I thought, all right, let's give it a sand and see what it looks like. And it's come up absolutely beautiful. And on top of that, I got some offcuts from a little bit of Merbo when I was making this up. I just cut the ends off at an angle, at the, you know, for the seven sides. And I used a little bit of electrical tape and put it all on it fold it all up and you can see it's moving around I haven't glued it and then I did glue it and let me see if I can find it here because it looks really nice I've got the pair of them here so that that's one of them that's the regular regular polygon seven sides and look at this there's another one I'm going to bring them over so you can see them I don't know if we got enough light with that camera there we go this camera and this one, how cool is that? So accurate, I'm, I'm amazed. How do I make it work with a router table? Well, it's exactly the same thing as the table saw. I have a miter slot beside my router table, and all I'm doing is going past at a tangent with this. I'm just taking a piece of timber past at a tangent, past the cutter, and hey presto, I've got perfect angles. How do I do it with my miter saw? What I do is on the table saw here, I will cut an angle on a piece of good stock. So this angle here now is set by my miter set segment. So now I can raise that blade up and use this to set the angle. I'll rise the blade up and notice it's referencing off the whole table. It's not referencing just off the plate beside there. Beautiful. I can now create compound angles. I can use my 
I can go that angle that I was just set and cut a compound angle. As if I'm not going to recommend these things, they're brilliant. Now if you want to get one of these bad boys for your shop, by all means either the segments or the standard or the pair of them, I've put a link in the description box below. Now Jack has made me an affiliate so if you click on that link, you're actually helping this channel as well as getting yourself a really nice bit of kit for your shop. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.